changed our time of the lesson so we start um, Sunday Monday Wednesday and Saturday but the time is at 545 or quarter to six uh, we used to start at 730 now because of the change of the time of the and the prayer so we move the time back like 545 our lesson today is vocabulary and it's about the unit taken from I think traveler which is how to go green you, you've seen that people are so much worried about our planet and they ask this question are you green it doesn't mean you look green or you have a green color but rather they want you to know that you need to be careful about environment careful about the nature so this is how we call going green. Is there anyone here going green? Amatullah Hutun or yes? Yes, like we support the nature, preserve the nature, not to contaminate the nature. And to go green actually is to recycle, is to recycle. Now in this lesson, we continue about going green and our objectives is to evaluate how green you are, how green you are, discuss ways to be environmentally, which is a friend to the environment or a friend to nature, and we're going to learn some vocabulary about environment and public utilities. Okay, so our objectives are mainly three. We're going to see who and how or why we need to go green. And then we're going to discuss ways to be environmentally or a friend of nature. And then we're going to learn some vocabulary related to environment and public util utilities. Okay, so these are actually our three main uh, So are you ready to go? Amatullah, Sami and Hutun. Okay, this is the good question. How green are you? How green are you? So if I ask all of you, Amatullah, Sami, and Hutu, how green are you? Amatullah says 70%, I guess. Amatullah, maybe 80. Sami, not too much. Yes, and here comes Lena. Hello, Lena, how are you? Actually, we Arabs, we the Arabs, are not so much clean. Uh, sorry, <laughs> green. So we most of the time do not recycle. We do not recycle, and Hutun is fifty percent. But recycling, if you go somewhere else in Europe uh, or anywhere else in the United States, Canada, or someone else, you find people are very green actually. So you are green enough, okay. No problem. So let's go to the vocabulary which are going to use so much here. All right. So we have the first word which is conserve. Okay, if you look at the screen, conserve, consumption, organic, pesticide, source, and air conditioner. These vocabulary are important for important for us to know something about how to go green. Now let's see the meanings of these words. What do you think conserve mean? What does conserve mean? Yes, Hatun, to keep something. That's right. Excellent. Thank you. Good. So the other word is consumption. What does the word consumption mean? Consumption, to use something, to use something. All right. When we use something, we call this is the consumption of using it. And what does the word organic mean? Exhaustion. Mm. The act of consuming something, yes, consumption. So what about the word organic? Nutritional, nutritional, something 
grow by nature, we call it organic, like organic food, food that grows by nature, something, yes, physically grow or naturally grow, since we talk about going green. Pesticides. What does the word pesticide mean? Um, let me give you an example. Yes, it's a chemical or chemical substances used to kill bugs and uh, bad insects that can hurt um, fruit. Yes, it's doing good. Source? What does the word source mean? Exporter? Mm, not very much. The source of water is the origin, yes. That's right, the origin of something. The origin of something is the soil. Could have a few meanings actually, yes. But we're here trying to talk about going green. And air conditioner, AC, you know it. Now let's see the meanings. So to conserve is to save or use less of something to conserve. Like we need to conserve water. So it means to, to use it in the least amount so we can save water to conserve water to save water consumption the act of using something when you use electricity for one month so what is the consumption you can say that the consumption of electricity for this month is 300 reals for example organic referring to food produced naturally without chemicals or pesticides pesticides Materials or substances used to kill insects and other things that harm or hurt plants. Source, the origin of something, where it comes from. An air conditioner, something in a home or other building that is used to control the temperature. That is used to control the temperature. Good, now we know three, uh, six important words which are conserve, consumption, organic, pesticide, source, and air conditioner. Now let's have some good conversation about going green. All right now answer this question. One, name two ways you can conserve water. Let's see how green you can be. Putun, Lina, Sami, and Emma. Name two ways you can save water, you can conserve water. How can you save water? We cannot go wasting water like this. So tell me two things we need to do to, so we can conserve water. Let's see how green you are. Amatullah said 80%. So how you conserve water in your house, Amatullah, or in your life? So Sami, Lina, and Hatun. Lina is so silent, I think she's busy. Hatun got a nice idea to close the faucet after taking shower or washing out our hands. That's right, that's one example. So you can conserve using water. Do not let the faucet or the water tap. For example, many people leave the water on while they brush their teeth. They keep the water on all the way when they start to brush their teeth. Amatolos, and during it, while we're not using it at that moment, yes, exactly, like when you're using shampoo or brushing teeth. Excellent. Many people also, also when they have a shower, they keep the water running. You don't need the water running when you are using the shampoo or cleaning your back or your feet or something like this. You can turn it off. You can turn it off. And then when you need to uh, clean yourself, you can go back and also when people do the wudu. Also, Lina, yes, she's good at washing the dishes. So she remember using dishes, dishing washing machine. So you can serve, you can, you can conserve a lot of water. You can conserve a lot of water. Some people also, while they're washing the dishes, they leave the water on. Even they don't need it to clean the dishes. Good. Also, if you have a broken faucet or a broken uh, um, tab, so you can fix it. You cannot leave it uh, dripping 
for a long time because it wastes water. There's another way uh, also uh, some people use the water in a different way so they can collect rainwater so they can clean the house with it. Some other people also collect rainwater so they can water their plants later and a lot of dispose uh, wash tubs and keep shower okay now two what what is something green to consider when buying a car so when you buy a car do you think about you can be green this can be help you to be green what has the car connected with being green if you are a green person and if you want to buy a car so what do you think Excellent, Amatullah. A car that doesn't use so much gas, that is right. So, yeah, that, okay. You'll never know how to. Maybe one day you will, maybe after a month, a year or two, you, you'll be driving a car. And if, and if you're not driving a car, um, you can um, ask about it. Or you can help your brother, you can help your father, or something like this. So, yes, when we want to buy a car, we try not to buy a big one that uses a lot of gas with 18 uh, cylinder or 16, sometimes 12 cylinders. People would like to use cars that also do not produce a lot of uh, uh, poisonous gases. So the more the car is big, the more it produces a lot of contamination. Okay, I'm not to lie, you will never know. Three, what materials can be recycled? If you are in your house, in your farm, somewhere else, how can you recycle? So you need at least three recycle bins. You need at least three recycle bins. First one for paper, for cartoon, and for for things like this. That's right. Paper, cartoon. The other one is for plastic, and the third one is for can and metal and some other stuff. So you know, when you go to the supermarket, you buy a lot of things from the mall. So you have a lot of past plastic bags. You can use them for trash can, and you can also use them to to be recycled because if you throw this away in, out like plastic bottles they take a lot of time to dissolute in nature and they contaminate actually the the soil so it's better to recycle them and put them somewhere in a recycle bin yes excellent you can always use paper bags instead of plastic bags because they are easier and they can be recycled easy. Yes, actually, I don't. I didn't see anyone using uh, paper bags here. I don't know why, but that's okay. Also, paper bags are taken from trees, so you can cut a lot of a lot of trees. Also, so this is the answer. So we collect rainwater for use, not leave the water running, take quick showers, and for the cars we use fuel efficiencies and for recycling we need plastic paper glass and metal another question number four how can farmers make fruits and vegetables that look perfect how can farmers make fruits and vegetables that look perfect they spray it yes they use pesticides so they can kill bugs and that is not good. Pesticides and all kinds of sprays, especially underarm sprays and air conditioners and uh, pesticides, they hurt the atmosphere and they release a lot of gases that are poisonous. Number five, what is the worst way to bring home your groceries? If you want to buy something from the mall or from the grocery shop or from a supermarket, what is the terrible way to bring your stuff to home? Hmm. 
We use plastic bags. Do not use plastic bags. And Amatullah said that it's better always to use paper bags, but there are no paper bags because they are more expensive than plastic bags. Why plastic bags are dangerous? Yes, everyone does that. That's right. Because uh, plastic bags, when you throw them in the trash, they hurt the soil and they do not dissolute into uh, the soil very easily and they contaminate the soil. That's a big problem. So farmers use pesticides and people, when they go shopping or they go anywhere, they use plastic bags which are harmful if you throw them away into the soil but you, are, you can always recycle them and use them for other for other things like trash can bags and something else now I want someone to read this for me these are information and these are fun facts about some perfect and ideal cities around the world that uses renewable energy and friendly energy or a natural way to for transportation for water for uh, farming and for other stuff now, who's going to give me a break here and read this for me Hutun, right okay i'll give you the microphone Hutun, so you can read this are you ready? No. Amatullah will not read, I know. She doesn't know how to read. And Hatun does not know how to read. Your grade one. Samuel will not read. Sammy, would you like to read? Hatun would like to read. <laughs> yes, Lena will always will. Ah, no microphone. Now yeah, you don't have microphones. Mm. Hatun, I'll give you the microphone. Would you like to read? <laughs> Next year, okay. So, uh, apparently, um, let's give Lena the great the microphone. Please read very slowly. Your friends do not know how to read. Facts. Fun facts. According to one uh, source, these are five of the, gr uh, the greenest cities in the world. Rick Javik, Ireland, it uses hydrogen buses and get, gets all of its electric, uh, electricity from uh, gather, gather, mill, gather mill and hydro, hydro power. Portland. Or 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 Virginia or Virginia whatever you say you is it it has a good system of public trans uh, transport uh, transportation and encourages that uh, that they use a bicycle it also have uh, nine, uh, twenty uh, twenty two twenty two. Ninety-two thousand uh, across of green space. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Uh, Lena disappeared in the middle of the reading because you gave her an eye. I don't know how you did that, but someone gave her an eye, so she disappeared. I uh, will have to continue since. She's not here. <laughs> I'm joking. No, no, no. Um, I, I, eyes. So Portland, Oregon, U.S. It has a good system of public transportation, and encourages the use of bicycles, 
it also yes that's what i mean it also has 92000 uh, uh, acres of green space also another city which is called Curitiba in Brazil this city is famous for its bus system which is used by three quarters of its people it also has many city parks they even uh, uh, use sheep to cut the grass they don't use any machines good Malmo in Sweden although this is Sweden's third largest city it is known for its many parks and lots of green spaces Vancouver Canada this large city draws 90 percent of its power from renewable energy sources it is a leader in hydroelectric power and is developing systems to use wind solar waves and tidal energy to reduce fossil fuel use see these are five great cities that don't use gas and they use renewable energy and they are away from machines and they have a lot of trees and parks all over the place that's how you go green oh look at this what do you think has happened has been happening here what happened here what happened here there was a big party and people um, the number of people is more than the number of the recycle bin of course there are a lot of plastics and cans and cartoons and a lot of tissues and but they throw them all around the place so someone had maybe collected all of this and the trash is more than the recycle bins something we sadly see every day that's right now let me read to you a story since I'm the only one I'm going to read here and you clap too much for me okay when I finish good all right now this is a story between Jasim and Ibrahim okay are you gonna clap for me and give me smile face and a big star and a three thumb up all right good 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 Jasim that was a great garden barbecue but there are soda cans everywhere I help you clean up where do you keep your recycling bins Ibrahim nowhere we don't recycle Jasim you don't recycle why not Ibrahim I don't know it's just always seemed like it would be a hassle hassle means uh, a lot of uh, burden some kind of uh, something upset something uh, makes you do something Jasim don't you think it would be a good idea to make that effort Ibrahim I guess I don't feel kind of guilty about it but then again does it really make that much of the of a difference Jasim are you kidding recycling reduces energy consumption lessens air and water pollution and saves landfill space it's a no-brainer it's something not to think about so something you know you take to you take into consideration that's something you don't have to think about it's no-brainer Ibrahim I just don't have the patience it seems like a lot of extra work it is so much easier to just chuck everything in the garbage than to sort it by material for recycling Jasim that's a lame excuse recycling is a piece of cake it becomes automatic before you know it where are my claps where are my stars you miser girls and boys I'm finished all right thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you big star <laughs> all right now let's go on ah did this, this is not gonna all right this did it did not finish you have to clap again Ebrahim I suppose you're right okay okay I will start to recycle great hey why are you throwing that can in the garbage Ibrahim oops 
Old habits are hard to break. Clap again, please. Quickly. Thank you, yes. Thank you very much. Beautiful, yes. I am the Duffer here. Good, thank you very much. So we see that Ibrahim is not a green person. Jasim is a good green person. He recycles and he does not like to throw things. But Ibrahim does not seem to like it and he's not a green person. So he keeps on throwing things and Jasim tried to convince him to change his mind about going green. But it takes time. It takes time. Now let's see some questions about the conversation. How does the subject of recycling come up? How did it come up with the boys? He comes accidentally when they were throwing garbage, that's right. So what are some reasons Jasmine gives for recycling? How, what were the reasons that Jasmine gave to Ibrahim about recycling? How he convinced Ibrahim. He's lazy, yes, that's what we say. But he's not convinced, so Ibrahim gave him, it lessens pollution, it saves the uh, uh, soil, it conserves water, it, 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 a lot of reasons for being uh, a, a, a green person or to recycle waste. Also, yes, it widens landfill spaces, good memory, Sammy. So why does Ibrahim say, oops, at the end of the conversation? Why? Because he threw a can uh, away already after they finished conversation. So after that, finishing all this conversation, at the end of the day, he threw a can. And he said, oh, uh, old habits are so hard to break, uh, so hard to get rid of. So these are the answers from one, two, three. Now let's go about uh, uh, knowing some other words like uh, hassle. Okay, and what does when we say I guess? Hassle. So hassle, something that is inconvenient to do. Something that is inconvenient to do. When you say mm, I guess. So an unenthusiastic way of agreeing with someone. It's like okay, okay, I guess, I guess. An unenthusiastic way of agreeing with someone. A no-brainer. A question or problem that has an obvious answer or solution. Chuck to throw out. So do not chuck things on the road. Lame, bad or inadequate. And a piece of cake, something that is very easy. Something that is very easy. Now, let's remember what expression does Yasim use in the conversation when he made suggestions. He used, you might want to consider, with a gerund, you might want to consider recycling, you might want to consider cleaning, you might want to consider uh, collecting, cleaning, and so on. How about making, how about recycling, how about going? How about coming? There's always a gerund, a verb with ing. Do, don't you think it would be a good idea to recycle? Don't you think it would be a good idea to uh, clean your um, street? Don't you think it would be a good idea to conserve water? Don't you think it would be a good idea to uh, not throw plastic bags or plastic bottles on the road and outside the car. If you do something, I think you will find something else. And if you don't mind, I would like to suggest going. If you don't mind, I would like to suggest uh, cleaning the room. If you don't mind, I would like to suggest listening. If you don't mind, I would like to suggest Reading in this lesson to use your microphones. These are suggestions. These are suggestions and we use them to make suggestions. We use them to make suggestions. Can you make one of these suggestions here very quickly, Emma and Sammy? Can you use one of these five suggestions and make your own sentences? 
You can't, right? You can't make suggestions. You can't make a sentence. Ah, uh, you're thinking, okay. You're thinking. Think. How about sleeping early at night? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Especially for students and teachers. Okay, so this is the summary of it all while Amatullah will finish her sentence. We tried to evaluate how green you are and we talked too much about it. We read the conversation between Jasim and Ibrahim. And we had some real talk expressions like hassle, like uh, I guess, and it's no-brainer, and piece of cake. All right? And that was, uh, where is your... I suggest more students enter this class. That's a good one. I hope so. You can help me with this. You can help me with this. So again, you know, I have to finish with this. Students, uh, travel three flying guy and make a go. And finally, you can watch this offline and download it. Toll free number, Twitter account, ask and technical support. Thank you very much, Amatullah, for being here. I hope to see you here all the time. You can help me. Tell your friends, tell your students also, your family, your your neighbors to come here. It's a free thing, all right? And for Sammy also, you can tell your friends and uh, brothers or sisters, okay? Thank you and have a good evening. Bye-bye. Ah. Uh...